What's up, family? Hall of Fame football player turned college coach Deion Sanders took a lot of heat when he left historically black college or university, Jackson State, for whiter pastors in Colorado. Did I say white? I meant to say brighter pastors. Ah, we'll leave it at whiter. Anyway, fam, Dion has been getting dragged through the mud. I mean, he's had an overwhelming amount of support, but there are a lot of people who are mad, mad, mad that Dion left Jackson State University and Dion is saying, hey man, it's my life. I got a calling from God that told me, hey, I got to move around, man. This ain't working out. We've heard from just about everyone how they feel about Dion leaving Jackson State for Colorado, except Dion. Well, you knew it would not take long before Dion addressed his detractors. Here are some of the things that he said in a recent press conference. It's about increasing enrollment, the safety of students. It's about going to the next level, not just in football. Never once did I say when I die, I want them to put a tombstone with my name on it in Jackson. He was like, hey, I ain't come here to die in Jackson. He said, everything I said I would do, I did. When I don't fit in someone else's plan and purpose, now there's ridicule. Once we started dominating, we started getting tensions from our own people. The you young know, was like, hey man, they got mad at us. You know, once we started dominating, people started getting mad. And they were acting like, yo, they're supposed to win. Oh, that's Deion Sanders. He got the resources. He's supposed to win. Basically saying that I can't win for losing. He went on to say, I would love to go to another conference, but is the rest of the school ready? Is the baseball team ready? Is the basketball team ready? Dion is saying, hey man, I'm a change agent. And for me, this was not just about the football team. It was about the entire school. He also said this. He was, he had a problem with fire alarms going off at 3.15 a.m., disturbing the kids, those type of things. He said, the things I want to accomplish, I can't just do it being a football coach. He also said, it's funny how you believe the Lord when he told me to come here, but don't believe me when I tell you God told me to do otherwise. It's so much more that I want to do, but can't do because that's not my occupation. Until we address these underlining issues that no one wants to talk about, ain't nothing going to change. That's it in a nutshell, fam. He felt like his hands were tied. He wanted to do so much more. Things that we felt like he could have accomplished. But as I told y'all, fam, we didn't know what was going on behind closed doors. We don't know what internal fights that he had. You know how it is, fam, when you're working your butt off to make something work and it seems like you're not getting enough help. It seems like the main people that could benefit from the work that you're putting in are not putting in their share of work. It's like they don't even care. But if there's a benefit to be had, they'll accept it. But they're not sacrificing anything. And not just that, they won't get out of the way to let you do what you do. In fact, some of them will run interference. They're kind of like that in relationships. One person is giving everything they got. And the other person is just kicking it, just walking through life with blindfolded on like, hey, it ain't no big deal for me. You can take it or leave it. You know, I can take it or leave it. I don't need this relationship. It's the same thing. That's how I feel, fam. I feel like the administration at Jackson State had a you can take it or leave it type attitude. Like they didn't care about the relationship with Dion as much as Dion cared about the relationship with them. 
And I do believe that there was some jealousy on behalf of the president. He said something that was very important, fam. He said, I'm a football coach and I want to do all of these things, but my hands are tied because that's not my occupation. You know, the trip part about it, one might say, well, you know, cutting the grass wasn't your occupation either, but you went out there and did that. Well, you know, that's a small feat, fam. That ain't no, that ain't no major thing cutting grass. I mean, well, it's a major thing if it ain't your job, but you know what I'm saying. Like, that that handling those financial responsibilities, that administration part, that's something that takes a lot of time and effort and commitment. And he can't do that and coach. I get it, fam. You know, when I first heard about it, I felt like everybody else, well, for the most part, I felt like everybody else. I was very disappointed that he was leaving. I was like, damn, if he did that in three years, just imagine what he could do in six years. You know, like his legacy would be more secured, like forever. His legacy is already secured, but the cherry on top would be great if Dion could stay and help turn these HBCUs around, turn, not just turn the football program around it. And, and Jackson State around, but the, the HBCUs and all, you know, maybe it could be contagious. You know, his his energy, his 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 love for the game and 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 the students and the faculty, you know, perhaps that could be contagious and and we can turn these HBCUs around. But fam, I get it, I get it. When you are a change agent, when you are the type of person that want the best and you're working with people who don't have that same vision. They're cool with being mediocre. It is hard, fam. It's hard. I get it. But what say you, fam? Drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk.